Hello and welcome to another episode of Craft D&D. Today we're going to discuss Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. And this book just came out and I just picked it up. I did get the, uh, as you can see here, I did get the regular cover art. I didn't get the alternate cover art, but there's a picture of that included on the title page here or the inside credit page. I actually have both of those, and I'm not sure which one I like better, but the regular cover art is certainly kind of nice. It says the uh, symbol of Bahal fills the sky over Avernus in the river stick seeds below. And then the alternate cover, it's the flame ring skull of Ball bound on either side by Zariel's angelic sword. Take a look here at the table of contents. There's a pronunciation guide, which should be helpful, about the adventure. Tale of Two Cities. Alturel Has Fallen. Avernus. Uh, and I just opened this up myself. Sword of Zariel. Escape from Avernus. Baldur's Gate Gazetteer. A Diabolical Deals. Uh, Appendix B, Infernal War Machines. Uh, there's some magic items, creatures, infernal rapture menus, story concept art, an infernal script, and then some maps. Uh, there's a pronunciation guide. You can kind of figure out how to pronounce all of these interesting creatures that you might not know about. Well, this is interesting. I see Tiamat's listed here. And Tiamat, of course, was from the original couple adventures that came out in 5e. So the five-headed queen of the evil dragons trapped in the nine hells. So she apparently has some kind of role to play here. We have an adventure overview. Let's see here. The holy city of El Terrell has disappeared from the forgotten realms and descended into Avernus, the first layer of the nine hells. This event comes about as the result of an infernal bargain between the archdevil Zariel, who rules Avernus, and the treacherous high overseer of Alturel. Interesting. That should be a very interesting uh, one to kind of get into. Trouble in Bulger's Gate. Now here we have kind of the overview of each of the chapters. Chapter 1, Tale of Two Cities. Chapter 2, Alturel has fallen. Three, Avernus. Uh, four, Sword of Zariel. And then finally, Escape from Avernus. Looks like for levels 13, so you can go from level 1 to level 13 or higher in this adventure. It gives us a background of the adventure. Here's some more of the art. It's kind of interesting. I'm not going to look at every page here, but... I'm going to take a look. Here's a picture here of, uh, it says, When the fog clears, Baldur Gate shines on the sh shores of the Chinothar River. I'm kind of just flip ahead a little bit here. Got some NPCs. Some art that you see a lot. I see in this picture in a lot of the books. Cultists. And some maps. So there's quite a few things here. Even if you're not going to run the adventure from start to finish, you can definitely use. Somebody called Moon was in here. High Hall. The Grand Cemetery. That sounds exciting. Let's kind of flip ahead here towards the end and see what the backs here, what the appendixes look like. <laughs> Don't want to spend too much time. I haven't actually read the adventure or anything to really know what to hone in on. So I'm just going to get here to the back of it. And you can watch me flip pages. It'll be really, really exciting. And I'm sure you're happy you clicked on the video just to do that. All right, Baldur's Gate character backgrounds. All right. So if you're an acolyte, a charlatan, criminal, entertainer, uh, faceless, a new background. That could be interesting. I wonder if that's anything like the nameless one. 
the whole thing for the faceless. Look, look at that closer. Being who you are, you could never be a hero, whether due to your class, your people, your family, or your sins. Something about you prevents you from effectively pursuing the path you've chosen. Even so, that doesn't stop you. You've left your old face behind, taking on a new persona, becoming something more. Characters with a faceless background don a disguise, literally or otherwise, as they adventure. This persona might be dramatic or subtle. In a way, though, many characters have such larger-than-life personalities. Therefore, the background largely focuses on detailing the hero behind the mask. That could be interesting. Folk hero, kind of your regular ones you're used to seeing. Dark Secrets. During character creation, once characters have developed their own characters, they should collectively choose a dark secret shared by the entire party. Huh. So that kind of gets your characters involved in it, not just be kind of almost forced into being participants, but they actually have uh, some, some uh, skin in the game. Uh, murder in Baldur's Gate. Theft in Baldur's Gate. Apparently these are some of the various options, maybe. Diabolical do deals. We have some of the hierarchy of how the devils and work, apparently. What the devils want. Here's the infernal war machines. Got a picture of them over here. Um, some stats for all of those. Mishaps, apparently, if they break. There's some new magic items. Gauntless of Flaming Fury, Fame Eater, so on. There's more than that, but that's the couple. Here's some of the creatures, some of the new devils, demons. So apparently, there's both devils and demons here. Cultists of the Dead Three. Fist of Bane. Quite a few different creatures here. Concept story art, infernal rapture menu. So yeah, it looks like quite a few things here to take a look at in the book. Looks like a very interesting adventure to kind of dig into a little bit more. Some more of the concept art, uh, some more of the of the war machines. All right, well, this has been Craft D&D, taking a look at the Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus book. It's the new book that just came out, and I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. Share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon.